In this lesson, we're going to discuss rulers in InDesign. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, go into Chapter Number 3, and choose 0302, Making Rulers Measure Up, and just click Open. By default, in InDesign, as soon as you open a document, you'll have a vertical ruler and a horizontal ruler. But how do you turn your rulers off? Well, there's a number of ways. I could go under my View menu to Hide Rulers, or I actually just saw a command right next to the View Rulers command. If I hit Command R or Control R on a PC, I can bring back my rulers. I can also do this in the application bar. If I go to View Options, one of the choices is Rulers. And if I choose that, it will uncheck and also make the rulers disappear. Let me bring them back. But can you change the ruler's origin? By default, the 0, 0 point is actually in the upper left-hand corner. And if I'm working in a spread, the rulers just continue all the way across. But is there a way to make the ruler start again at the gutter, the left side of the right page? Well, if I right click on the ruler, you can see that there's rulers per spread. There's also rulers per page. Let me choose that. And you can see at eight and a half inches, it goes back to zero and then starts going up again. I can also do this. Let me right click. Ruler on spine. You can see the zero point of the horizontal ruler is at the gutter and then goes up in both directions. This can be very useful if you're working on a spread where the left hand page and the right hand page are mirror images of each other. It makes it much easier to figure out how to design the two pages. But let me go back to the defaults. I'm going to right click on the ruler again and choose ruler per spread. That way it starts in the upper left hand corner of the spread and continues going up all the way across the spread. But I wonder if there's a way to change the zero zero point to really anywhere. If I click where the two rulers come together and drag, I'm going to drag to the upper left hand corner of my margins and just let go. And you can see the zero zero point is now at the upper left hand corner of my margins. So I can put it anywhere. But now that I've done that, which most people do by accident the first time, how do I change it back? All I have to do is go to the square in the upper left hand corner of the rulers where the two rulers come together and just double click. And it will go right back to that upper left hand corner of my spread. But is there a way to change my units of measure without having to go into preferences? Once again, I can right click on the ruler. Let me do that. And I can choose points, picas, inches, decimal, millimeters, centimeters, really anything that I might want to use. I'm going to stay with inches. But is it possible to change the units of measure for just one ruler? Actually, any ruler that you right click on, you can change the units of measure for just that one ruler. You can only do it one ruler at a time. So if I wanted my horizontal ruler to be in inches and my vertical ruler to be in some other units of measure, let me do that. I chose agate lines. Agates are used a lot for newspaper, at least they used to be. So people would buy an ad that was a certain number of inches wide by a certain number of agate lines deep. It's not generally done anymore, but if you want to change it, you can. Let me just go back. I just chose inches again when right-clicking. 
If you do change just one ruler, make sure you change it back because it's really changing the fields throughout all of InDesign. Like for instance, if I went to file print and I had mixed measurement units for the vertical and the horizontal rulers, if I looked at bleed in the print dialog window, one would be in inches and one might be in some other units of measure. So make sure you put them back to being the same. In the next lesson, we're going to continue discussing layouts.